The Jakarta chapter of the Indonesian Chamber of Trade and Commerce, or Kadin Jakarta, is working with local business owners to stabilize prices following the increase in food staple prices in the past few weeks. Kadin Jakarta Chairwoman Diana Dewi said on Monday that according to a monitoring conducted by the Trade Chamber, prices of staple food in several traditional markets in Jakarta continued to rise. Despite the rising prices, staple food sellers have suffered a decline in their profits. As a response to the situation, Kadin Jakarta will invite local business owners to take steps in stabilizing the prices. Kita meminta kepada teman-teman pengusaha yang lain uh, untuk sama-sama memberikan uh, penekanan untuk harga sehingga harga itu digandulin, nggak naik terus. Caranya apa? Caranya meminta CSR dari pengusaha-pengusaha sehingga kita nanti ke masyarakat akan memberikan uh, semacam harga yang uh, baik. Kadin Jakarta will continue ensuring sufficient food supplies approaching the fasting month of Ramadan, Diana said. Prices of staple food in traditional markets in Jakarta have increased by an average of between 5,000 rupiah to 8,000 rupiah per item, or about 32 to 51 US cents. The lowest price of rice right now is about 13,000 rupiah per liter surging from previously 8,000 rupiah per liter. Price of bird-eye chilies rises to 60,000 rupiah per kilogram, from previously around 45,000 rupiah to 50,000 rupiah. Red tomato prices surged from 12,000 rupiah per kilogram to 20,000 rupiah per kilogram. Meanwhile, price of chicken eggs has reached 32,000 rupiah per kilogram, from previously 28,000 rupiah per kilogram. Despite the rising prices, most staple food sellers have suffered a decline in their profits because they have paid higher prices to suppliers. Masrol, a rice seller, says it is now difficult to find rice with lower prices, while there are no supplies of affordable rice from the government yet. Ya, artinya kalau disediakan pasnya yang artinya yang merata lah kan jangan so di sini di sini sedikit di sini tidak nah itu lain tapi kalau merata dikasih pada pasar berapa tinggi pasar walaupun sedikit sedikit pasar dikasih tapi merata maka terlindungi lah apa harga pasar Masrol and other rice vendors hope that the government take quick and clear actions reduce staple food prices so that their business would back to normal.